hello in this video i will demonstrate how to dynamically uh, display any number of periods on daily weekly monthly quarterly or annual chart using user interface or slicer welcome to asan tutorials and my name is i mean now to achieve this we need three tables the fake table uh, that should consist of a date column and other relevant data the parameter table that contains a column of number to be used in the slicer and a calendar table in the parameter table we we will create numeric range defining the minimum the maximum default value increment should be one and check for add slicer to this page and appropriate name for this table so it will create a slicer on the page uh, automatically so now this table uh, contains a column and that that is used in the slicer and another measure that is the selected value of a same column displaying the selected value that will be used in the measures in calendar table we have date column year quarter month week and the other important columns are year quarter number uh, that is serial number for each quarter increment of one for each new quarter like when quarter one finishes and new quarter starts so there will be increment of one from 80 to 81 uh, same thing you know, for the year and month that is serial number for the uh, each month every new month there will be increment of one and same thing for each week that is year week number the code for these three calculated columns are um, here year quarter number year month number and year week number about the relationship the date table or calendar table is connected to fact table and there is no connection uh, between the range table or price table with any other tables now let's examine the formulas so in this page i will i show this visually the uh, on a blank table uh, putting the date and quantities sold uh, which is the sum of the sales data quantity column uh, displaying the quantity sold for each day and the uh, daily quantity sold uh, will show the sold quantity only for the available days uh, now i have not selected any date and it is showing the last av uh, last available date in the calendar so uh, let's check this visually this formula uh, has two part one is the variable last period and the result or the return period uh, the return part mm -hmm. this will uh, this will display the last available date in the calendar date considering all applied slicers now if i only return this part it shows the 31st december 2023 so maybe for this date there is no sense which is why it was not showing i filter uh, to any recent date mm, for example july uh, let's check for the 12th july it displays the last available date that is the 12th of july 
the second part of the formula calculates the quantity sold filtering calendar date where the date is greater than the uh, last period which is, which is the last available date minus selected value from the uh, parameter or slicer uh, so i have uh, selected the 4 and 12 minus 4 be 1 2 3 4 mm, 4 is minus 4 is this 8th of july so the formula says it will calculate the quantity sold after the 8th of july until the selected date so after 8th of july there will be 19 11 and 12 if i return again the result it shows only for these four days if I change this to 6, it will show 6 day sales, 10 day sales, 1 day sales, like this. So, similarly, uh, monthly quantity sold. We have to change the calendar date with the year, month number, and this one too. If we change these two, these will work for the monthly sales. It will find the uh serial number for the last available month and it will minus the four from that serial number and it will filter from that number until the last available month so if i put this here this is showing the cells for the july one month selected if i make this two it will show the cells for the June 2. If I make this uh, 3, yeah, it will show the uh, May as well, like this. The quarterly uh, uh, sold quantity, we have to change only this part to year quarter number, it will work. And for weekly, we have to use year week number and for the annual we have to use the year in these two places so it will work uh, for all of them if you have any question or suggestion feel free to leave in the comment below